On to Avignon. Home to the popes for a hundred years in the 14th century. A wall runs around it, which means that the old town is beautifully preserved with large pedestrian zones. This is Dennis Callen in Avignon. This is one of the most beautiful cities in France. It's loaded with historic monuments, especially the great palace of the popes. At a certain time in the 14th century, Avignon became the home to the popes. They left the Vatican in Rome and relocated to Avignon. And this was the golden period of the city when uh, the great palaces were built, great mansions were built. A wall was built around the town at that time in the 14th century. And the wall still stands today, as do all of the great palaces. The palace of the Pope especially is considered the largest Gothic palace in all of Europe. So it's definitely a must see when you come to Avignon. And also the little back streets are certainly part of the charm like you find in any great European town. They're gonna to be cobblestone lanes and lined with shops, a lot of trees and benches. You can sit down and rest, cafes always. And we're gonna take you on a tour of the main highlights as well as some of those little back streets of the great city of Avignon. While the old town has many ancient buildings the historians will enjoy, it also has lots of modern shops in a comfortable pedestrian zone where you don't get bothered by any automobile traffic or trucks or buses or scooters. We're staying in the Hotel d'Europe. It's a beautiful old building right in the heart of town four-star deluxe, and our desk man gives us an overview of the city. This, this is the oldest part of the town. It's called the Cartier La Valence, and it was as well founded by the Romans. And this is where we first started Avignon in the second century before Christ. This is the downtown where you have all the, the shopping district, all the pedestrians. And on this side, this is the Rhone, the Rhone River. Avignon's famous bridge, the Pont saint Benizé. It was first built in the 12th century crossing the Rhone River. You also have a beautiful view of the Rhone and the castle of Saint André beyond from the Rocher des Dômes, a lovely public park on the top of a small hill overlooking the old town. It's just a few minutes walk from the Place du Palais where you have the Pope's Palace and the Little Palace. Here it is, the Petit Palais, it's an art museum. It was first built as a mansion in the year 1318 in the medieval style, you see, with the Gothic pointed arches and this old courtyard. The masterpiece of the collection is Botticelli's Madonna and Child, which alone is worth the admission price. And you'll see about 300 other paintings from the medieval period as well. Inside the Palace of the Popes, you can go into the bookstore for free or you can pay admission to go inside the palace, but be advised there are no original furnishings or artworks in the palace itself. The street just to the right of the palace is one of the oldest in town. It's like you're walking through a stone canyon. And just behind is a cobblestone square with some ancient Roman ruins. Yes, Avignon was founded by the Romans about 2,000 years ago. A block over is the very popular Place de l'Horloge, and there's cafes all around it, and lovely streets emanating out from the main square. Some nice shopping streets, some quiet residential streets as well, and those charming little back alleys that are always intriguing, wondering what's around the next bend or what museum are you going to bump into next. Here we have the Calvé Museum in a magnificent 18th century mansion with collections from the 15th century through the 20th century. The old town has a network of narrow streets that are perfect for strolling. Some of them are for pedestrians only and some have some automobiles, but the traffic is never terribly heavy, especially when you're on foot. And the whole town can be seen on foot. It's a compact zone. 
And you have these little arches and tunnels in the old buildings and ancient shop facades. It makes a beautiful walk. The main street of town is the Place de la République and it cuts right through from the train station to the Pope's Palace, basically. About a mile long, it's a straightaway and it's lined with modern shops. A lot of art galleries in the little side streets and small charming hotels and restaurants. See this arrow on the sidewalk? Well, this is part of a walking tour route. You can get a free map from the tourist information office and they've got about a half a dozen different routes that you can follow and it's keyed into the various historic sites. Many of the monuments of Avignon are on the UNESCO World Heritage List, including the Pope's Palace and the old bridge across the Rhone. If you walk a few blocks into the eastern part of town, you'll come across the Rue de Tenturier, the Street of the Tinters, perhaps the most picturesque street in town. The old water wheels are still turning. They used to provide power for the manufacturing and dyeing of textiles. Now it's a trendy street, lots of cafes along it. That's our quick look at Avignon.